funny. Growing up, sort of, how important was rugby to you? Um, it, rugby was life, really. Um, as a kid, you grow up um, family who loves rugby, so you just play a bit of backyard rugby with your family and friends, and um, wherever you can play rugby. So, no, it was huge. Where did the nickname Bundy come from? <laughs> um, so, she's typical Islanders, can't, you know, can't stick to one name. <laughs> um, but no, I was initially named after my doctor, um, so the full name is Bundaloo. Um, and then in the rugby team, obviously, the name was a bit too long for the coaches to say, and uh, one of the coaches would be like, you know what, I'm just going to call you Bundy. It was like, grand. Bundy just stuck with it, and it just went from there on in. And I mean, as you say, you know, growing up in sort of New Zealand, playing rugby there, then moving to Ireland, sort of, how did those experiences sort of help you develop as a player in your game? Oh, I think uh, I think every rugby player, uh, every uh, throughout their whole playing career, um, they obviously take a lot of lessons, a lot of learnings, um, and help them mould uh, with the player they are. And that's exactly what I've done so far. And all the experiences I've had uh, throughout my rugby career has exactly helped me get to where I am today. And was there much of a, an adjustment period moving from New Zealand to Ireland or is the, the con weather conditions and playing conditions similar enough? Uh, to be fair, it's, uh, there is a bit of an adjustment. It's, uh, um, Sorry, Bunny, I'll just get that again, mate. Yeah, yeah. and go for it. Uh, to be fair, uh, there is a bit of an adjustment uh, with playing-wise, but, um, you know, like any team, you just got to adjust to it um, and play the kind of style that they want you to play and um, agile and sort of flair to it. So. Um, the way Connacht has uh, played throughout the years has been an expansive rugby, which is class. Um, I've enjoyed every bit of it, but therefore, I say 10 years now, and um, I haven't looked back since. And the only thing that's probably different from home is probably the weather. Um, but yeah, you, you learn to enjoy it. And in terms of you know when the the opportunity came or the possibility of representing Ireland came, sort of how did that make you feel? You know, sort of when you heard the news that you qualified or that you could be picked for a team, what did it make you feel? How did it make you feel? Uh, to be fair, at the time, I, uh, when I first came over, I just thought, uh, just put my best foot forward for Connacht, um, try and play the best Connacht for you um, as a player and as a person, because that's all you can do, you know, um, you just put your best foot forward as a rugby player and uh, do the best you can for the team, and to be fair now, those first uh, three years that I was over in Connacht, um, I was actually delighted, because after my second year, um, we've never won a championship before, and that was one of the first times we've actually did it, and, uh, it was one of the best, best, best uh, atmosphere we could ever have in a final, and coming back home with that trophy was incredible as well. So um, after that, and you know, honors, high honors that came after that, it's just it's a blessing and an honor to be able to do it and to be able to get the opportunity to represent this country is something special. Um, they've given nothing but the best for me and my family, and um, all I can do is show them in return with the way I play. Four years ago in Japan, Rugby World Cup probably didn't go the way you'd, you'd have hoped. You know, injury, red card. How determined were you to sort of put that behind you this World Cup and sort of put your best foot forward? Uh, yeah, you, you sort of learn a lot of things over time. Um, and obviously, yeah, 2019 wasn't great. Uh, wasn't the best at all, and especially for myself. Um, but sure, look, you know, people do mistakes. You don't, you don't intend on trying to go do something um, intentionally, uh, that doesn't do well for the team. So you know you learn from those, and you try and take it into consideration for uh, with, with the rugby going forward. And uh, look, we as a group at the moment is just trying to strive to be better as a team. Two man of the match so far, four tries. Sort of, how happy are you with your own performance this World Cup so far? Um, look, it's 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 it's. Uh, I said it before, and I know a lot of the lads do slag me about it in change rooms, but. Look, it's it's the hard work they've done throughout the week. You know, I'm only just I'm just lucky enough to get up at the end of it. Do you know what I mean? And um, just um, getting the soft tries at the end because of the hard work the boys are doing. Um, but to be fair, the the the, uh, the team spirit that we have as a group it's been unbelievable. You know, you, all you want to do is just try and play the best you can. Don't really matter who scores tries as long as we win. Do you know what I mean? Um, and keep the spirits higher. That's that's all we're after. And and as a team, we just want to be the best we can be. Is there an obvious difference within this island squad compared to other ones you've been involved in? No, I, I just think uh, as a team we just we just get tighter and tighter um, as a group, um, and 
the more we as a group get tighter, the better it is for us going out on the pitch knowing that we have got each other's backs. Final two questions. First one, what, you know, Ireland, everybody says, you know, never made it past the quarterfinal stage, sort of, how determined are you as, a, as an individual and as a squad to sort of try and change that to or that impression of people? Um, I, I, I think for us as a group, we obviously, like we, we have an important game this week. Um, we've got a tough opponent uh, that's coming, um, uh, we're going to be playing against and, you know, we know them very well and they know us very well and we have to try and get past them first, you know, they're, they're a work quality side and look, they're playing some unbelievable, unbelievably, uh, unbelievably good rugby. Um, so we have to be on our best foot forward because, you know, for us as a group, you, you, to be realistic about it, we, we potentially can go home if we don't put our best foot forward with a team like them. Um, so we've got to make sure that, you know, we're well prepared. Um, so they've got threats all over the park and we've got to be on the money. Final question, you mentioned it earlier, family. How important is your family to your game, the way you play? Uh, family is everything for me. Uh, you know, I... That's what I play for them, you know, I, I love to make sure that whenever I do step on that field that everything I do um, is to represent my family and my friends. Um, but most of all, it's my kids, you know what I mean? Like I, I have a daughter in New Zealand, Armani, who's unfortunately can't be here uh, due for all schools and stuff like that. But, you know, as long for me as a, as a, as a dad, knowing that uh, when I'm playing well or doing good for the team, that she's obviously can watch and see that, um, you know, her dad's torch trying to play well so she can see her on TV so uh, sure look up. all I think about is my kids so yeah that's everything thanks Thank very you. much